a good chance after conceding the PK. <laughs> not, not that confident because <laughs> there was only, what, four and a half, five minutes left at that point. So, um, yeah, obviously relieved, relieved that we that we won the game and that we, we found a way late on. Um, I'm sure I'm going to watch it back and, and see a lot of things that we can improve upon and a lot of things that we will need to improve when you get to the postseason type play. Um, so yeah, look, we weren't we weren't at our best today, in my opinion. Um, it wasn't quite how we drew it up, but we did win the game. So we have to take the positives in that regard, and and and, and now we have to um, briefly celebrate the fact that we've had one of our best regular seasons probably in the program's history, um, but also understand that everything that's to to set to, for us to achieve is is ahead of us, and there's a lot of work to do. Does this team last year find a way to win this game? I would say when your momentum is such a huge piece of, of, of college soccer season um, we didn't get a lot of it last year so so maybe not no uh, maybe the the past experiences of feeling a little down on your luck and in a moment like that where it all of a sudden it goes 1-1 um, maybe we don't maybe we don't but I think we have the start of the season and the, the momentum that we've built the ranking that we obviously have the high seed that we have in an RPI perspective to, to thank for having the belief and then having the capacity to, to, to squeak one at the end there to win the game what do the seniors mean to this team this season? Yeah, they've been fantastic. You know, um, I think we have our final two uh, players with Luke and Kyle that, that uh, I inherited, if you like, that were here here before I was. Um, they've been fantastic. They've obviously had incredible careers and very decorated careers now with the program. I hope there's more to add to that with, with what we have left this season. And then those that have been additions, tr transfers, whatever it may be, um, again, have brought in really well to what it is we expect from the program, the culture, that aspect of things, it's been it's been a real real positive. I would say the the, the whether we win or lose the game last year to your question, I think the biggest difference probably from, from this group is the, the collective social dynamic of this group is is so together in that regard. They 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 love love each other to bits, um, enjoy each other's company, look forward to seeing each other every day. So it's a really good group to be around in that regard. And that really counts for something when you then come out here and it's one one with two and a half minutes left and you've got to find a way. Have you heard the results from tonight? I know, we're going to, I know we're going to Orlando. Um, I know the top half. I don't know who we're playing, um, but I, I know that's where we're heading next. So, um, yeah, I mean, if I had a choice, it was probably 80-degree weather in Orlando. Um, no disrespect <laughs> to, to Huntington, West Virginia. <laughs> Obviously, you've got some experience playing there this year. Uh, what do you take from that experience, both just overall playing on that field and obviously potentially playing them again? Yeah, I think the field is the biggest challenge. It's it's a it's a good surface. It's it's a Bermuda grass. It's a very very tight cut, um, very very quick surface. So there's definitely an adjustment to be made. Um, you know, the ball doesn't hold up the way you um, have to find passes to feet as opposed to potentially hurting hitting space in behind. Changes the approach a little bit. Changes the way that we have to um, build the game, and then obviously the way that either team can affect, essentially affect the game higher and press. So um, it was an ad adaptation for us. Um, we'll make sure we're there in plenty of time and, and, and get a couple of days training on the surface. And yeah, like I said, looking, looking forward to it. We obviously go there with, with a, a positive outcome. I thought we had a very, very good result there against a very good team. Um, but first and foremost, we've got to get through whoever it is we're playing in the quarterfinal. Carlos's goal in the first half, was it a product of good build-up prior to that? Um, I mean, we'd, we'd had better build up and obviously I think it came off a set piece in a second phase and, and uh, ended up getting back down the right. I think Crixie did well to, to put it back into a dangerous area. Um, and, and again, Carlos is a technical player, so when it drops to him on the volley, I feel, I feel pretty, pretty confident um, as a centre-back that someone like him still has the quality to finish. What do you need to see from your team between now and when you get started on Sunday? Uh, time to recover. Um, obviously, the humility to understand that it needed to be better tonight and that we, we still go through our process as, as we would normally would and, 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 and look to improve on what we, what we didn't quite do to our levels and our standards. Um, and then, but at the same time, to obviously to, to trust the process that we've, that we've had to this point in the season and trust that, um, yes, whilst it can feel like um, it's kind of a win or go home situation, what we've done to this point has worked, right? What we've done to this point through um, what, uh, what 17 games now has allowed us to win as many as we have. So um, we've had a fantastic regular season and we can take a ton of confidence into postseason as a result. Coach, does this conference this year compared to last year feel a bit more tighter with all the teams making it to the conference tournament? Yeah, I think there was, I think us included, there was a lot of teams that felt like they didn't do themselves justice last year. And as a result, you know, the collective RPI for the conference, uh, RPI within, within that for the teams wasn't quite where it needed to be. Not enough of us, including WVU, 
didn't take care of the non-conference schedule uh, the way that they anticipated. So um, I think I went on record at the start of the season saying, you know, what did I think at the pre-season ranking finishing third? I said, if we finish third, I genuinely believe knowing um, how teams were going to reload that, that we would be um, an at-large for the, for the national tournament. Um, and we will be, we will be. So that was another really important reason why we needed to win the game today was, I think it's safe to say now that um, we're in the national tournament, right? I, I think it's probably safe to say we're gonna be a first round bye and a home game, which is huge. And, and again, great for the seniors that they get to come back here and play in that environment. Um, so that is a reflection of the quality of competition. Um, again, JMU now winning in, in, at UCF, they're probably gonna drop to, uh, drop to something like 35 in the RPI maybe. So you've got, two, you've got four teams that are in the top 40 in RPI that are all making a great argument for why they should be an at-large for the national tournament. It makes it difficult, um, but it's what we wanted as well. We wanted that type of challenge, that type of quality, um, and, and this year the Sunbelt has delivered. You've said in the past you don't always look at penalty kicks, kind of turn to the side. Did you look at Definitely you know? wasn't looking today. <laughs> no, it definitely wasn't. I thought, I normally, I, I watch when, when, uh, when, when we concede them. I thought about not watching today. Um, yeah, I mean, look, it won't be a secret. We, we've watched that kid take the last five penalties. He's gone the other way every single time. So it was so hard when we do your preparation for that stuff. I spoke to, spoke to Nobes and obviously Jackson came in to do, to get that, get that preparation. And it was like, you, you have to, you have to go to your right. Cause he's gone that way five in a row. Um, and obviously sticks it in the other top corner. So <laughs> what do we know? But um, no, I, that superstition has served me well and I will continue to stick with it until someone realizes how, or I realize how stupid I am. <laughs>